My mother once said, what you see when you look at an archival film are resurrections taking place. I call them home movies because almost every project that mum worked on, she had us kids working on it too. The family is the major thing in my life that has given me the courage to be the kind of person that I am. And mum was right there filming all of this, just indiscriminate violence. At that time I was, I was really scared for mum's safety. I totally underestimated the viciousness that lies just below the surface of, you know, New Zealand society. I totally underestimated the amount of racism um, that there was and how little it takes before it comes to the surface. How would you like it if, if there was a load of bloody black sitting up there now? This boy called me names. He told me to go back to my own country. Friends told me, we're not allowed to play with you anymore because of what my mother was doing. Why are you doing it? Why, why, why don't you just stop? For Indigenous cinema, it really does trace back to Merita. She is the grandmother of Indigenous cinema. It was about changing history. It was about changing the way Native people, Maori people, were perceived by the rest of the world. And does that contrast with the way you feel you're seen in New Zealand? Very much so. I don't think people regard me as a very valuable resource here as much as they regard me as a nuisance. <laughs> she reminded me that my point of difference in filmmaking is trying to maybe take a serious situation and inject it with a lot of irreverence or humour. Once the work shows that you're capable of doing something, then all the other prejudices about race and sex may perhaps fall away. You know, as the adult looking back, if I had to do it ten times over, I would do it. I would do it all again with him. So that's a little bit of information to start out Hippie's research. <laughs>